Hi there, my name is Valerie Madajemu and I'm a member of the Data Schools 30 cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use quartiles in Tableau. This will let you show outliers in your data based on the median. To do this, I will be using a box plot. So let's jump right into Tableau and get started. So firstly, what is a quartile? Quartiles are points that split your ordered data into four equal parts. In order to calculate outliers, you have to calculate the interquartile range. Luckily, Tableau does this all for you. Note there are four ways to compute quartile values and Tableau's default method is the Tukey method. If you'd like to know more about quartiles and how they are calculated, see the link below to Khan Academy. So if I draw your attention to the box plot up here, the boxes span the interquartile range. The ends of the boxes are the upper, and the lower part. And the median is marked inside the box where the two gray shades intersect. The calculations that have been made are only based on what is in the view. For example, if I right click and view data, this is all the data we currently have in our view. It does not do the calculations based on all of the data set. If I go to a new sheet, I want to create a box and whisper plot of the average price per borrow separated by the room type. So if I start off by going to price, right clicking and dragging this to the columns and select average price. And then if I go to the room types and add this to rows. And now I want to color my room type so they are distinctive. I then want to add the borrower to detail. So we have all the information. Next, I want to change the data type to a circle. So if I click on the drop down on the marks card and select circle, we now have it in a format where we can add box and whisper plots. So if I go to the analytics pane and go all the way down to the bottom here, I can drop the box plot onto the cells and a box and whisper plot of the average price in the borough is made. And you can see the data is within 1.5 times the IQR. And if you'd like to find out more about why it's 1.5, again, go to the link by Khan Academies who explains how to calculate the interquartile range. And then we have the option to hide underlying marks so that the only the outliers would be present. But for now, I am going to leave all the marks in. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you feel more confident in quartiles. Please check out the descriptions of this video for links to additional materials that you might find useful. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'd absolutely love the related how-to videos we've suggested by my fellow data schooler. Click on the thumbnail on the bottom right to watch it next. Subscribe to the channel to get notified when we release more videos. Thank you for watching.